Hello everybody, here's another Blender um, tutorial, but first, here's a word from our sponsor, Autodesk. No, only kidding. So, um, I use Studio Max, uh, or have used Studio Max for 17 or so years, and I'm trying to transition over to Blender. So, a few of the things I want to do is, how do I do stuff in, in Max, but over in Blender? So, one of the things I do a lot is to isolate objects so um, for example um, if I go and select this box here I can right hand click and I can isolate it and that then becomes the only thing in the scene I can go and edit that play with that blah 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 not get any overhead of other objects in the scene getting in the way once I've finished I can then go and end my isolate and bring everything back you can also do that with multiple objects click and drag over these multiple objects right and click again go isolate play with these things like you know I don't know move them around a bit and uh, I don't know, uh, move them around a bit, there you go, and move that around a bit there, and then when we've finished isolating, end isolate, and we're back to where we were, apart from our edits. How do I do that inside of Blender? So we're in Blender, so let's go and select an object. So we've got this object selected, we've got a very busy looking scene, how do we make it so we're just playing with this one box to uh, uh, optimise our viewport? performance and clear up what we're looking at if we need to do that so if you go under the uh, view menu you'll find a thing called view global stroke local and it's a number pad forward slash key now if you looked in the previous video with a show and hide keys they were different keys for showing and hiding um, with this this is just the forward slash key on your number pad and it's a switch so every time you press it it will toggle from one to another so if we go and toggle this now, if we press the forward slash key on your number pad, it will then isolate your selection. We are running screencast keys here to try and help you out a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's cool. So to get back to where we were with you know everything else in the scene, all you need to do is press that same key again, forward slash, and you're back again. So how do you do with, will this work with multiple items as well? So we've got this one box selected. I'm going to hold down, down my control key and press these guys here and just keep adding to my selection uh, that should just about do it there we go try and grab as many as we can so got all these items oh I haven't got you yet there we go press the forward slash key and that isolates all these guys to go so if you're trying to work out what we're doing and your, your viewport's getting a bit crunchy this will um, sort your viewport, viewport performance out play with that once you've finished toggle it back again and that is how to isolate items inside of blender just like inside of mac so flippity flops not that hard was it um there you go the only thing i'll just add to this this screencast keys um inside of blender 2.78c which is what i'm running now and today's the 13th of march 2017 it's not included in your download you need to go and dig it out so you need to go to google go find it and then install it and then you'll get screencast keys if you want that other than that we're done cup of tea see you in a bit bye